Okay, so I've decided I'm going to start work on the anchor rod bracket. And uh, this is item 25. And I've um, scribed lines in the position of the holes here. And I've uh, got this collet chuck with an 8mm collet in there. And I'm holding it with the, I suppose you might call it the boss. So the idea will be to put this on the lathe and drill through 3 sixteenths of an inch in diameter. So just before drilling I just want to make sure that this is at 90 degrees. Um, and it's pretty close. It's within a thou. So I've already centre drilled so I'll drill through with an eighth of an inch and then the uh, 3 sixteenths. Well I've just realised that I've got a 3 16 reamer so what I'll do is I'll uh, drill 4.5 millimetres with this and then I'll ream. Uh, I'll do the reaming off camera. Okay so I've uh, clamped the collet chuck onto the milling table and I checked that this edge here, just eyeballing it really, making sure that this edge here is parallel with the table and it is. Um, so I'm happy with that. Now I've centred on the hole that I've just drilled and now I need to move the table that way. Um, let me see, 31 sixty-fourths of an inch. Now I've zeroized the um, blue DRO and uh, 31 sixty-fourths of an inch uh, equates to uh, 0.484 so if I move it that way 0.484 it should bring this centre drill in line with where the holes need to be drilled so if I move the table that way That looks spot on, so I'll uh, lock both axes on the table. So I'll centre drill there, and then will then drill through with a 7BA clear, which is 2.6 millimetres. Okay, so I've cleaned it up a bit more with this hand file and uh, some emery paper. Um, it's not looking too bad, so uh, just another 37 to go. Well, the next item I'm going to have a go at machining is the connecting rod. And to be perfectly honest, the process is virtually identical to the one I followed um, for the bracket. So I'm going to use uh, the collet chuck on the lathe to drill that hole and then I'm going to transfer the collet chuck onto the milling machine to drill that hole and um, there's also a little hole here I think it's a sixteenth of an inch hole for a pin to go through at a later date to secure it onto the shaft but I'll do all the machining off camera and then show you the result so the uh, connecting rod was uh, very straightforward and now I'm going to have a go at the reversing lever. Okay, so I've uh, thought about this long and hard and I've decided to use a three-jaw chuck bolted to the milling table. Now I've offered some support at this end and I've used a centre drill to uh, start the hole off in this area here. And um, I just eyeballed it but it looks spot on. So I've replaced the centre drill with a, a 2.6mm drill bit and I'll drill right through.
So now I need to move the table this way, uh, 1 and 7 16 of an inch. Now uh, I've put a centre drill in here and it might mean that I need to move the X axis slightly in order to make sure it's centred. Uh, but I'll eyeball that. OK, so I've opened this hole out to 4.5mm and now I just need to ream it to uh, 3 16 of an inch. Well, it's, it's not perfect. The uh, large hole here is slightly off centre. Um, I don't think that matters too much, but it would have been nice if it would have been perfect. Um, I think the main thing is the distance between centres, uh, which are spot on. So now what I'll do is uh, go on and make the pin that holds these together. Now this, I believe, is number 23. So it's using a piece of 3 16 bar which just needs to be cut down to 7 8 of an inch. I'll do all that off camera. That looks pretty good so far. Well, in terms of the expansion link, I've uh, cleaned it up with a... Um, uh, hand file and some emery and the inside here needed to be cleaned up as well because that needs to accommodate uh, this item here which is a piece of mild steel uh, like a, a thick washer really and um, it's 5 30 seconds of an inch in diameter so this sort of groove or channel here needs to be 5 30 seconds of an inch to be able to accommodate that so what I've done on the lathe is, I've turned a piece of mild steel down to 5 30 seconds of an inch and then checked that uh, this sort of runs on the outside of it and uh, after a bit more hand filing uh, I've managed to get it to run quite smooth. So what I'm going to do now on the lathe is just to um, drill this to be 7BA clear and then I'll part it off to uh, an eighth of an inch in length. Well, item 33 really is a small component. I think it's the smallest, so it's nice to get that out of the way. And that will run in there. So a 3BA bolt will go through that. Like that. Well, I think I've made reasonable progress there, and uh, my Touch DRO, I just love it, it's fantastic, it saves a lot of hassle messing around with dials on the mill. Um, but anyway, I hope you found the video useful, and uh, I hope to see you for the next instalment. See you later.